Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio jumping in again, but we have a new mod that I want to quickly go over before we jump in. This might not be a permanent addition to the series, this is just something that I'm trying out, but I still want to go over it nonetheless. Uh, this is called the Ascended mod, and this adds ascension levels from Slayer of the Spire into the Binding of Isaac. Currently there are 14, I believe there's eventually going to be up to 20, but right now there is 14. Um, and essentially the way this works if you haven't played Slayer the Spire is essentially when you beat a run as a character The next run has a modifier that makes it harder And then if you beat that one it gets harder again and again and again in these stack effects So I'm just going to go through the effects that are currently available Ascension 1 meaning that we've beaten one run So this episode won't have any ascension levels on it and it'll only apply per character So each character has their own individual so uh, rank 1 is discharged action Actives. All newly acquired active items will start without charge. Um, number two, Ascension 2, is worst pickups. Certain consumable drops are replaced with their worst counterfart. Counterfart? Counterfart. <laughs> um, so, uh, and, and that's stuff like counterfeit penny, 50% chance that you get money or nothing. Broken key, uh, you need to find another part of the key to get yourself a whole one. A wet bomb, this bomb is unusable, um, but on the current floor but is usable on the next one. The next ascension level is higher shop prices, 35% increased shop prices. Empty of floors uh, is the next one, 25% chance to replace any non-vital special room with an empty one, kind of a crazy one there. Um, number five is full heart damage after chapter three. Um, number f uh, six is weaker soul hearts. Soul hearts now receive full heart damage. Um, seven is Broken Destiny. All characters start with three Broken Hearts except for Keeper. Um, items Don't Heal You on Pickup is the next one. Disables healing for pickup items in any shape or form. The next one is Extra Boss Rooms Each Floor. Essentially, you'll have an additional boss, like you've got Curse of the Labyrinth, but there'll only be one boss item. Next after that is Rooms May Not Give You a Charge. Each third room doesn't charge your active, so essentially all your actives take a little longer to charge. Worse beggars and blood donation machines. Uh, beggars and d blood donation machines have slightly worse payouts. Um, less room for consumables, uh, basically meaning you can't carry as much. Less invulnerability, meaning less iframes. And the last one currently available is chased by death. A spelunky type ghost will appear after a certain time threshold on each floor. So these are some very unique and difficult challenges. And just so that you know, once you're on, um, say for example, if you're on Ascension 14, you get every single effect at once. You get all of these effects, they stack. So it's gonna add some difficulty. It might not be something that we keep around forever. It's just something new that I saw come out that I I always like adding difficulty to my games. Um, and yeah, I think it's a great way to add difficulty. This time we're starting as a Zazel though, so fairly easy. Now one interesting thing about playing with this, one interesting thing about us using this Ascension levels is we're not gonna see it take effect very quickly. As you can see right now, we are on Ascension 1. Um, discharged active items is our first one, I believe. Um, I'm not sure if that is active currently. I'm not sure if you start on Ascension 1, or you start Ascension 0 and make your way to Ascension 1. But by the looks of it, we are starting on Ascension 1, so actives are discharged to begin with. But yeah, I just, I always like adding difficulty to my runs, and this seems like a really fun and interesting way to do it. And like I said, because it's per character, it's not as if it's going to get crazy hard all of a sudden, because... We don't play the same characters back to back that often, so it's going to be a little while. In fact, it's going to be a very, very long time before any character gets up to max ascension levels. Um, so we, we don't have to worry about it getting like overwhelming or way too difficult. And some people may think, oh, well, some of these effects seem a little unfair or don't seem like they seem like too much. But that's kind of the point of ascension. If, if you go and take a look at something like Slow the Spire, it's very much the same premise. Uh, the, the, the difficulty of the modifiers that are available seems about on par with what the Ascension levels within um, within Slay the Spire seem to offer. Um, I, I do have a very short Slay the Spire series on my channel where I think we managed to take a look at some of the Ascension levels. So it's back from a few years ago now. I haven't played that game in quite some time. But if you want to take a look at how they work, then you can go and have a look there. Um, Anzus, we've got a pretty interesting little room here. So these guys are explosive, so stars, we'll keep that for the next floor. Oh, hello. I'm gonna quickly grab this, go in here, 
and Magic Wand is here. This is kind of a tricky one. So we've got creates an orange ghost when entering a room. This ghost will ignite enemies and the um, kids drawing. Oh, we've got this. I think this is going to be better. Plus one black hat. Black hat. On hit, chance to spawn familiar, uh, friendly enemies. I, I, I kind of like that. Then we've got a lust card. We've got an Anzus and we've got a black rune. We'll see what our item is. We might want to end up using that black rune here. Um, indeed we do. That is an item, if I remember correctly, is entirely useless for us. Um, it, there are certain situations in which it could be good, but I think for the most part that does nothing for us. So I will get some stats out of that. And we got two very good stats. We got both range and damage. Uh, so now we'll... Yeah, we'll just take the Anzus with us. I wasn't quite sure what to take. We'll take the Anzus with us. Uh, for the question of the day to day, um, that, just based on this ascension difficulty thing, what is something that you like in a game that adds difficulty? When you're looking for a game that's got a bit of a challenge to it, what is something you look for in that? Um, it kind of reminds me of it too, just because I've been playing uh, Elden Ring recently. I haven't played it as much uh, as of late, but I still have been playing it a good bit. This is a very hard boss from what I remember. Hello. I'm pretty sure this guy makes me invincible for a little while. He is gone now, but... There you go. Oh no. And then Mum's Lipstick, extra range. I cannot be disappointed with that. Extra range is good for us. And we will go down to the downpour. Um, yeah, what is something you look for? Because, like, I've been playing Elden Ring, and Elden Ring is kind of one of those games that you kind of choose the difficulty yourself. It starts out at, like, a base level of difficulty, but it doesn't really stay that way. Um, because I, it's, it's kind of hard to describe here. Um, I'm going to try and get into my cash room here. Oh, did I do, seriously just do that? No. How did I manage this? Is there any way I can get it off of this? <laughs> How the fuck did I manage this? Is there any way that I can hit both? Fuck's sake. Don't do it again. Oh my god, I lost a whole heart for that. And was it worth it? Was it really worth it? Balls. <laughs> Absolute balls. <laughs> that was terrible. Oh my god, that was a goober move. But yeah, that game, it kind of starts off at a base level of difficulty, but then depending on how much extra stuff and exploration you do, you kind of choose your own difficulty. Because you can go into the late game after, like, going through all the side stuff, and it makes the late game a lot easier. Or you can decide to, um, take the story straight on and give yourself quite a challenge. I'm going to take Minecraft to hell yes. Um, and our active did, did indeed start uncharged. That is going to be quite a change of pace for us. Something kind of interesting. I'm really liking the range that we have already. It's making this guy a lot more tolerable. Okay, good. Do you like me some Minecrafter? Maggie's Faith, he is pretty darn good too. We did get a golden bomb. We got... Spawns an unprimed Gigabomb, I guess. King of clubs. Spawns three random bomb pickups. Three of clubs. Fair enough. For some reason, I was like, is there a special interaction where a troll bomb hits one of these guys? But I very highly doubt it. That would be cool, though. Um, Not what we want here. And that is something we definitely want. Thank you. <laughs> that was hilarious. So yeah, I'm gonna say it's kind of it's kind of interesting when it comes to difficulty, like where you want it to sit. So unfortunately, we lost range, but we did gain speed and damage, which I'm pretty happy with. Losing range there's a little upsetting though. Uh, right. Let's just carry on going down here. Uh, I probably should have used my golden bombs to do a little bit more of that floor, but oh well. Yeah, it's always something I find quite interesting. 
God damn. My health is very not good. Three. It is a lot better now. Oh, did I seriously just do that? I picked those up in the complete wrong order there, didn't I? Bloody copper bombs. Eh. It's not very good, but I'll take it. Does this work? It does not. I came in here, I, the least I can do is take it. It's set, it literally only gave me seven, but hey ho. That's the way it goes sometimes. I probably should have waited to pick up that blue sack until I actually got into the room so I could do some more damage to the boss with it, but they don't seem to be aiming for him anyways, so. But yeah, I, I've always been a person that likes to play games on, especially single player games, on the harder difficulties if I can. And even in Elden Ring, I kind of, like, I was doing really bad at it, so I went and did a bunch of side stuff. And then I accidentally over-leveled myself by quite a bit. And so I purposely put down my really strong weapon and took, like, a weaker weapon so that I was weaker so that I could enjoy the difficulty more, which is a really, like, counterintuitive kind of weird thing. But I'm glad I did it. it it's definitely increased my enjoyment of the uh, of the game because I'm getting to experience some of the hard bosses as hard as they should be. I'm loving having Minecrafter right now. So good. Good, good. I'd like to get our shop going if we can. But yeah, even from like being younger, like um, I remember playing, uh, I think one of the first games that I really decided to go like, oh, let's play this, let's play this on the hardest difficulty. I mean, I, I was going to say Sniper Elite V2, because that, that was a game that I remember playing, um, playing on the, the veteran difficulty and really enjoying. But that, um, that might not actually be my first experience, come to think of it. There's two two others that come to mind. Also, hell yes with the almond milk. It's terrible, but gimme. Um, not a whole lot here for us. I'll grab that, and I'll grab that. Do you know what? I'll grab that as well. What does King of Clubs do again? I never quite remember. Lose all your bombs? Nah, I don't care. That's not something I'll be using. But, almond milk here quite saucy. With a brimstone, it's not something I get very often. I think we have pretty good damage, to be honest, for this uh, setup. One thing I do find a bit funny, and I'm not sure if it's a bug or if it's intended or if it's like something that could be fixed or whatnot, but the fact that like when you have a laser or when, uh, when you have a brimstone laser or a tech laser with like this sort of thing where you can hold down fire, it just stops making noise. Oh, for God's sake. You are an absolute pain in my ass, my dude. Yeah, I kind of felt that one coming. I probably should have just popped out, just shouldn't I? I don't know, I was too proud, maybe. Uh, fire rate is rather nice here. Um, it. Why is that fire rate so low? What's that about? Bad. Ooh, baby. This is a tricky situation. I think I'm going to take it, but I'm honestly not too sure about that decision. Because, like, yeah, the infinite bombs is pretty darn good. But Vade is a lot of fun, so I'll take it. Right, move down to the next floor. We don't have enough bombs to get down to mines anyways. I wasn't going to go mines either way. Um, Yeah, I don't know. This This run's got a little funky now. Maggie's um, faith definitely is helping out with um, our ability to... What the hell? Are you, are you guys okay? Thank you for the golden bomb. Rather odd. Maggie's faith is definitely going to help with the HP situation 100%. Yeah, I, I didn't really sort of think about how, um, how bad our range would be with this and how much more difficult that would make this setup. I mean... If, if if I didn't take the zaniest possible solution to something, then I wouldn't be me. So I'm glad I did, but... Also... Yeah, not great. Not great there. I am a little worried. I have to... Ooh, he got a hit on me.
Okay, so, I think in this situation, we use two of these to unearth and hope we get something decent. And we use the third and final one to get a crawl space. And I think these mushrooms will give us a crawl space. They will indeed. Good. Go down there and see if we get a decent item. What, what am I really looking for at this stage? I really... I couldn't tell you. Sack Dagger was not really what I was looking for. Bees! So many bees! Okay. That's kind of nice. We got a tainted treasure room here. We do need an additional key for that, but I would be willing to check what that is. I'm trying to think what item do we have on us right now. Oh, shit. That can be tainted, because I don't actually know. I mean, maybe almond milk? Potentially? Okay. I'm hoping we find some more keys. Pretty good. I think we're going to be relying on Vade a decent amount here, you know. Okay. We did get a cracked key, which is rather nice. Are you doing the red fires? Both of you are? Give me that. I need this just in case things go south. Oh, bugger. Things have started going south. I'm not playing well, which is not good because we are on a streak right now that I'd very much like to keep. I'm forgetting what a lot of enemies do, and I'm having to sit very close to a lot of enemies, which is just not good at all. Okay, so we got our double keys. Oh, God. I think this could all come crashing down very, very swiftly. That's what we're here for, though. These runs, these runs are the ones we like to see. Okay. Reduces the spawn rate of champions. When entering a new room or taking damage, gain an aura that strongly repels enemies and projectiles for four seconds. That sounds awesome. That is a lot of damage to lose. HP up, tears down. Honestly, I can I can deal with a tears down right now. I can. I truly can. I, I don't know if it even matters. Yeah. That seems pretty good to me. The ability to repel enemies when entering a room and projectiles seems pretty awesome. Okay, this boss is a nightmare. I, I genuinely don't really understand how this boss works. So I'm just going to hope for the best. And I think that worked out. A, and we got another syringe and one to regain the damage we lost as well. Very, very nice. I will do a little bit of extra, extra exploration here. And take on some of these additional rooms. Um, although, I could end up losing my eternal heart via doing that. So, I'm not super jazzed about the idea. But I also do want to make my shop work. And all I don't really need more, more is two, key, uh, two pennies. And, um, yes, yeah, two pennies and a uh, key. So, it's really, we're not that far away from that goal. And there's the key. Right, we'll at least check what's in there. See if it's worth sticking around for. Unfortunately, it's not. Um, I say that, but it might be a good idea to grab um, Pay to Win, if at all plausible. We should also take advantage of these blue fires that I, for some reason, didn't check up on. We'll leave that Zealot Heart there for now, because um, the Zealot Heart would be super great to carry down with us. Super great indeed. I'm excited it is doing its thing, being annoying as all hell. Oh god, oh god. Eternal Heart losing in range. Oh my lord. Did not like that. Whew. I have a feeling this run is like stagnating a little bit now, but it could it could seriously pop off. I feel like there's something about this run that could cause some craziness. Um, let's try and find second secret room here. Uh, we'll grab our Zealot Heart now there's no enemies left. I mean, we could get some enemies in our second secret room, but it's unlikely. 
I'm gonna guess here. No. Okay, maybe here. Good, good, good. Unfortunate, but we had to get the pennies we need from this. We did indeed. Okay, cool. We can go get pay to win now, which I think is definitely a good purchase. Now our money situation is looking a little bit better. Thank you. I'll even buy this as well. Empress isn't that good. I'm just going to pop it. I think it lasts like a minute. I'm not exactly sure. Anyways, down to the next floor. Our Zealot Heart's going to give us a um, Lemmageddon Wisp. And we're going to get an additional heart container as well here. Um, we got ourselves something unknown. There, there is no way to know what we've been given here. Okay. Oh god, all of these release little mini uh, thingies. Haha, <laughs> the chain reaction. I feel like I'm playing Melting. Nuclear Throne. <laughs> That's pretty beautiful. Okay, Vade is definitely paying off right now. Definitely paying off. I just need, I need some of that range that we lost back. That's what we need right now. Because right now the range is really the one thing. I wouldn't say it's letting us down as such, but it's it's hindering us. Oh shit, I, I, I always forget about that enemy. We're going to try and keep our Zealot Heart intact here, but I'm not going to say it's super likely. We need to remember we've got a strong repelling force early on. We also need to remember that enemies can still just walk into us. Oh, that was that was that was stressful. Beautiful. Is this secret room? I don't think so, but I'll try it. Nah. I'm pretty sure I knew that from this room, didn't I? No, I didn't. Okay. I'm glad I checked it. Okay. Oh my lord. These rooms are getting stressy. These rooms are getting stressy. No, my zealot heart. I knew it wasn't long for this world. Not that it did much for us anyways, this floor, but it could have It could have done something. I don't want to hit this guy because I know he's going to go Super Saiyan. Okay, nice. Don't really want to blow up those blue fires yet. The knockback's rather nice here. I'm, I'll definitely say that. Try all those fires quickly. Just give us some more safe space here. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I could just try to destroy some skulls to get some black hearts here, but I don't know if that's a great idea. Okay, that room was made fairly easy there for us. A reflected chest would kind of be nice too. Oh god, I do not like this guy. Did not like that at all. The stress of like not being able to see what's coming is really the, the big killer right now. Stitches? Oh, stitches, you're not very useful to me right now. Glaucoma? <laughs> Why not? Why not? At least it kind of acts like we got an item from here now. Not that we really did, and it kind of makes our shop a little more valueless. Yeah, you you you, you get corpsed, fella. Item recycler. Considering the fact that we have an item on the floor. I mean, we don't know what this does yet. Did I just buy a key? Thank God that gave me a nickel. Right. It started decharged, though. Didn't think about that one, did I? Shit. <laughs> These ascension levels are going to be a tricky one to remember. I like that idea, though. The idea that that is a little bit of an additional difficulty that's not crazy. But in some situations, it can make the difference. Because I fully picked this up thinking, hey, yeah. I'll, I'll just use this item. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, 
Oh, I'm trying to use my spacebar items. Use Veard. I don't have that anymore. Juno is incredibly good, but I genuinely don't think we can get through a boss fight without losing this Eternal Heart, and I'm very attached to this Eternal Heart. <laughs> I do not like this. Could you get off the button that I... The Eternal Heart's gone anyways. It's fine. It's fine. Ugh. At this rate, I might as well take this at least. Ugh. Stressy. Right, we're gonna have to use bombs to kill this thing, but we go for it because Juno is amazing. It also makes our beam purple. Well, we're doing a good amount of damage to him, actually. Like, not a ton, but like a good amount. Gotta try and push the bomb into you. If you could calm down, sir, that would be fantastic. What hit me then? I don't even know. Okay. Okay. We're taking a lot of damage here. It's not a good look for us. Not a good look for us. We got Juno at least. Juno should help a ton. Especially in Fiendfolio. Right. Let's see if this item works. It did. But, malformed penny. While held, every penny gained from picking up a coin has a 25% chance of spawning a mini Isaac. That's really good, but Maggie's Faith's a lot better. I'm going to take it anyways. It sounds fun. Anyways, do we want to keep this? Or do we want to keep Vaid? I'm going to I'm going to keep the item recycler. Oh, God. It's a boss I'm very much not very familiar with at all. Genuinely don't know how I wasn't hit there. Is this thing mine now? Have you have you came over to the light side? I genuinely have no idea. I think some of these are mine now. This is very confusing. <laughs> this is very confusing. Anyways, down to the next floor. I should go back and get health, but I'm lazy, so I'm not going to. Yeah, thank God for that. But yeah, basically... Like, every now and again, we're going to kill an enemy, and we get it back as our own friendly. And it lasts until it dies. It gets pretty nutty. Keep going. We've still got a tail piece of the, uh, of the worm boss hanging around. I'm not sure how to feel about that. There you go. I've got a bunch of flies back there. Some of the bigger enemies that can spawn stuff are the ones that you want. You never really know what you're going to get, though. Also, things are charmed a lot, too, which is nice. Excuse me? How exactly does this room work? Do I have to bomb this? I mean, that is not what I intended to do whatsoever, but it worked out. I guess I'm just going to bomb my way through here, because... The room seems to be a bit busted. Juno seems to have uh, not agreed with that room particularly. Okay. Damn, you killed my clickety clacks. How could you? Okay, good. We also got ourselves some mini Isaacs here, which is fun. I'm hoping Juno pops off a lot more than it currently is. It's like doing okay, but it's only given us some weak ass enemies. There's there's a good boy. That's given us a spawning enemy. That's the sort of thing we like to see. Spawner types are the best. You'll see that any enemy that is like not like pinky purpley like that is ones that have been summoned or spawned.
Come on, fella. Give a taste. Common cold. Yes, please. Green beam now. We're just changing our beam color constantly. So we're basically entirely relying on Juno to save us at this point. Ow. We're going to have lots of familiars. Lots. Lots and lots. <sighs> I guess I'll take you because you're just a little friend. You're your little helper, buddy. Some of those mini axe, uh, mini Isaacs. We're gonna have a big army of mini Isaacs pretty much constantly, which I love. This is a proper familiar run, this is. I really like this. I kind of wish I'd have taken the, uh, the space bar item now that made mini Isaacs for excess red hearts, but at the same time, we'd never have got the trinket if we'd have, ta if we'd have taken that, anyways. So it is what it is. Well, that was worthless. Don't know what hit me then. I just kind of stood in the corner and hoped for the best. We got a whippy guy now. I like how long it takes us to turn. It's really weird. Can we have Mum as a familiar now? We've got the whole of Mum, the Mum boss fight in every room. This is taking a bit of time, but we're getting there. We are certainly getting there. Ow. I got slammed by many a foot. We want a good dark path. This is tricky, because Incubus would be pretty sick. And by pretty sick, I mean I'm definitely picking it up. It's definitely a bad idea. We may have just killed ourselves right there and then. But... Who am I to say no to another friend? I do not like the situation that we're in in this room. Oh my god. I think my approach on most rooms is stay out of it. Okay, there is red poops in this room. Be aware of that. God. It's, it's kind of getting a little hard to keep track of what's mine and what's not. I'll be honest. Damn it, I was really hoping for some soul hearts in, the, in that uh, chest there. Okay, this room could kill us because it's got those super annoying telefragging enemies that, is, that, that are incredibly unpredictable. They may have already died. I'm unsure. I think they already died. Sometimes they can just insta hit you. Other times they're pretty they're pretty chill. Luckily today they are chill. Ooh, I do not like the situation in this room. But we have this guy that is uh helping us out. Shooting poop all over the place. It's quite a generous uh generous endeavor for him. I like the Wizoob as well. The Wizoob is good. Oh, these. These things I do not like. They move sporadically. And they scare me. So far, we've done okay. If we could spawn... If we could summon this guy, damn, that would have been good. Because he has multiple stages and it would have been pretty awesome. Sadly, it was not to be. Why don't you go screaming on me? I went sicko mode. Although we did get him as a friend, so certainly don't mind that. Sadly, bosses cannot be summoned. Don't know what's going on in the shroom. Very, very unaware as to the current situation. An Empress card could be the thing to clinch victory from the jaws of defeat here. Oh no. <laughs> It's a boss I don't fully understand. My worst nightmare. 
Oh god! They're like firing pustules at me. Holy, we did it. And a black hat for our for our journey. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. It's a champa it's 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 a it's a champus. I don't know what champus does. It looks like no brimstones from Champus, which is good, but I still do doesn't mean I know any better. Don't take away my only black heart. It's all I have left. Ah, oh, and then you give me that, you bastard. Got a Joker card out of it though. It's pretty sick. That was scary. Thank God I went the right way. Uh, I think I just popped my Joker card straight away here. Actually, no, 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 no. Just in case I I hold I hold until I get a charge. I don't know if that'll end up being any use, but I think I should. Excuse me? Did this room just respawn again? I did, did I just walk into some spiky spikies? I very much think I did. If they blend in perfectly. Well, that dude seems useful. Okay, we need to now rebuild our army. Okay, this guy could be incredible. Because I'm pretty sure he eats other enemies. Oh, he does. Oh, he does. Also, anything that regrows is pretty good, too. Yeah, he's going to be very good. Excuse me? Do you want to go again, game? What the fuck was that? Oh, we got a laser. We got a laser, baby. That's very useful. We have a nice suite of enemies here to work with us. Um, yes. Okay, we are losing um, friends rapidly. We seem to have lost a lot of them so far. But that's fine. This is going to be an absolute ass. Okay, the hardest part is done. We're going to lose all of our friends here, sadly. I'm hoping my laser eye stays alive long enough to do some stuff. It did. Just long enough to do some stuff. We got the devil deal anyway, so no need for the joker card. Sadly, it had no health in it, which is exactly what I was hoping for. Oh, God, this is scary. Right. To the secret room. That is a card against humanity. That could be very lucrative for us. I think, first of all, we pop our joker card. We were literally just hoping for HP and nothing else here, so that is a little bit sad. I tried using the recycle there, there to see if it did anything. Right, now we're on the hunt for a big room. Oh, God. Okay, these guys are, these guys aren't as bad as they used to be, actually. They got changed. I forgot about that. They're, they're easier, but more unique. Right. We're on the hunt for a big room. Which should exist here. Ex who are you? Exactly what are you? Are you a boss? Juno, if you could trigger a few times here to save my bacon on this guy would be real nice. I'm so scared to fight this guy. No, Juno, come on now. What'd I just say? I, I don't know what this guy's doing. You're mine now. Okay, good. You're mine. Okay, we found, uh, we found a large room, but it's not a very good one. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna shop around a little bit. Oh, we got this boss. Was not prepared for this. 
I mean, my fa my familiars are doing a good job so far. Ah, he gave us a soul heart. And it turned out to be a webbed heart. Webbed hearts are dog shit. I really wish webbed hearts wouldn't spawn naturally. They're, re they're very annoying. Speaking of, we should probably play Arachnor again soon. Okay, we might have to resort to the other room. I'm going to do a little last bit of shopping here. Absolutely no idea what's going on here. Teleports you to an abandoned planetarium. Soul of <laughs> Not really what we're looking for there. Spawns an item from a random pool and will either give broken hearts based on the item's quality, remove hearts equivalent to the devil deal. Okay, let's spawn that. Will, will this just kill me? I'm going to pick it up anyways and find out. Okay, it didn't. Good. Right. Let's create a little bit of space for our poopies. Hey. Oh, these fucking ghosts still damage me after the fact. Bullshit. Right, it's not great, but we're looking for petrified poop as early as we can get it. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. Okay, the, the, the rocks I broke didn't matter anyways, apparently. Sadly, it looks like we're getting pretty unlucky this time around. Sorry about that, I'm back. But yeah, it looks like we're getting kind of unlucky here. No petrified poop early on. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Okay. We, we got it pretty late in the game, so it's not going to be super useful. But I'm hoping for at least a soul heart. Ah, bugger. Yeah, not a great room to use it on, I'll be honest. It did its best. Probably should have picked up my other trinket before going for all of that. Right. Not, not ideal. Not ideal. Anyways, let's go do the boss. I'm not quite sure how this is going to go, to be honest. I'm not super convinced it's going to go well. Okay, you're, you're going down, sir. Oh, the, I mean, to be fair, the familiars that we've grabbed right now are pretty good. Like this guy? Purple dude here seems to be doing a really good job. He's just constantly reforming. Ow. We're not dead, somehow. I don't know what health we're on, but we're not dead. Did I keep that eternal heart alive? Is the question. No, I did not. We have a lot of broken hearts. <laughs> oh boy. Um, so I think... This is tricky. I think I just have to gamble and take the boss. I don't think I can do it. <laughs> That's a very bad start. I, yeah, I, I'm dead. <laughs> Goodbye, streak. It's been nice. I should have tried to get more Juno, fellas. I just don't know this boss well enough, and I have to get really close to him. Unfortunately, there it is. <laughs> We did get the amazing new death screen that I have to Dari today. I had a skill issue. I fucking love that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed regardless, and I'll see you guys in the next one.